Sorry, there was five seconds left in the song I was listening to. <laughs> Obviously, fake, fake plastic trees, frankly. It's funny, the Nakamura match with Magnus was very similar to the World Cup game. Hikaru was up two. And before he was up two, he was completely winning. Like up two in the World Cup is like up seven in a chess match. Then Magnus tied it up like France did. And then, um, then it was back and forth where Magnus was down one or two and then time ran out. So that was similar. It wasn't the same. It was exciting. Also, I think three to four billion people watched the World Cup. That's another slight difference. Um, although, I guess the chess match lasted longer. So there you go. That was a great World Cup match. God damn. I've, I've never seen... It was funny. My friend Aviv and I were watching the Magnus match and texting each other. And, and Aviv said, I've, I've never seen Magnus so tentative. Like, he wasn't playing fast. He wasn't playing aggressively. He was, like, floundering a lot. And I've never seen Magnus play a move like Bishop C7, hanging his bishop to a knight. That was odd. I don't even think that was in the one minute. I think that was in the three minute. Maybe it was the one minute. Anything you do wrong in one minute, I don't care about. But if that was three minutes, that's pretty suspicious. Maybe it was one minute. We'll just say it was the one minute. Otherwise, it's Bishop C7 is ridiculous. I mean, I play more ridiculous every game, but I'm not those guys. I didn't really care who won the World Cup, but my friend Aviv really wanted Argentina to win. I don't know why. I think he just wanted Messi to win the World Cup. Um, I wasn't rooting for either team. I wanted the game to be good and interesting. And it wasn't until uh, France scored the first goal. Before that, France was like sleeping. They weren't doing anything. Then as soon as they scored the first goal, and then the rest of the game was the greatest game ever. So the first like 70 minutes, the game sucked. And then the last 70 minutes, the game was the greatest thing ever. So... So that, that's good. It's good to be exciting at the end. Magnus, like like Carl, I thought played great, played better than I thought he could play because he's 35. But Magnus played weird. Magnus was slow some games. Magnus hung a bishop with bishop c7, and the guy took it. That, that was odd. That's what I do. What? Um. Yeah, Hikaru played probably better than he usually plays, and Magnus played worse, obviously. Uh. But it's very competitive, and it looked like, you know, it looked like Magnus wouldn't win a game. It looked like he was just going to lose and draw every game. Then he sort of came back to life in the three-minute. But, yeah, in the five-minute, he just got outclassed. So that was a weird match because, you know, I expect Magnus to win, and I expect when he does lose that he plays like himself and then he messes up. Like he's slightly better, clearly better, then he blunders or gets in time trouble. But he wasn't slightly better, clearly better. He was getting outplayed in the five minute, like every game. Like he could have been down more. And he was clearly the much worse player in the five minute. And in the three minute and the one minute, I thought they were about the same. Um, either one could have won the one minute. That one minute's a crapshoot. I thought Hikaru would win the one minute before the match, but he lost by one. But that okay, didn't matter. Um, yeah. So, yeah, Hikaru's won like four in a row. God damn. I thought at some point, because Hikaru was always really good at Blitz and Bullet when he was in his 20s and teens, but I thought at some point in his 30s he would slow down a little, you know, because you get worse in your 30s. Like, you know, Aronian, for example. God damn, Aronian. Remember when Aronian was second in the world? No, you don't, you don't remember that, do you? Aronian was 28, like 50 feet A. And now Aronian, you know, he's all right. But he's in his late, I guess he's like 39. So he's even older than Akaru, if that's possible. Mm. Also, this isn't an excuse because Hikaru played better than Magnus. But um, Magnus looked a little suspicious when the match started. Magnus looked like he didn't know he was playing a match coming up. He looked disheveled. I don't know if you guys saw that. 
he didn't look much better as the match went on, although he did change his top. He was wearing like a sweat th- and then he took it off and then he had an undershirt and took that off. He kept taking off more clothes. It was like strip chess. Yeah, Ronian's 40. God damn. I remember when Ronian was good. God damn. Yeah, he, Hikaru looked really focused when the match started. Like he was all business. Like he was at his office. And Magnus looked like, you know, he just woke up. And, you know, he didn't get dressed yet. He had, like, laundry in the behind him. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, he looked suspicious, Magnus. I guess he didn't take this seriously as we should have, you know, should have taken it. You know, you wake up way before the match. You get you shower. You, you make yourself smell good. That's actually what I do when I stream. So I have this problem because I'm so overweight and old that I'm tired all day. Also, I take, like, 40 medications. But anyway... And then I'm tired all day, but when I stream, if I sit here tired, yeah, you guys don't want to see that. So I like shower right before I stream and I spray all kinds of lotions on myself, not lotions, but cologne and body spray. And I try to smell good. And, and when I shower, I wake up. It looked like he was asleep. Yeah, I mean, he just, it was weird. It wasn't a vibe of this was a very important match. And maybe it wasn't to him. Obviously, Hikaru winning a match with 100,000 viewers against Magnus, that's nice. And he was ready. And Magnus was just like, you know, I guess I'm going to win the match. I guess I have to show up. So then, he, you know, you, you do that and you lose. And Botvinnik explained that. Hikaru was better prepared for the match, ready for the match to go. And it showed at the beginning. And then finally, when Magnus woke up, it was too late. He did wake up, though. Play better in the one minute and three minute. That's surprising. The faster it got, the better Magnus did. Should be the other way around. No, Hikaru played really well. Yeah. Hikaru's been playing better since he stopped playing in slow tournaments. His online play is better, which I don't understand. Maybe because there's no pressure to like go to tournaments. You go to the U.S. Championship, you go to Tata Steel, you, you, some other big events, and then you stream, and it's like two different lives. And now he has one life. He streams. And he plays online against 27, 2800s, so he's really good at that. And when he plays in slow tournaments, which he does once every two years, he does fine. But that's not his life, is going to slow tournaments one after another. So I, it's it's like it made his... It made him more relaxed and he plays better online. That could happen to me. It could be that my ratings go up because I stopped playing in slow tournaments. But I doubt it. I'm a lot older than Hikaru. Hikaru is old for somebody in the top 20, but I'm just old. I'm old for like a normal person. So that's, you know. I'm 18 years older than Hikaru and Hikaru is old. God damn. Even Magnus is old. So you were wrong about Nakamura losing. I was never wrong. I said the whole time Naka would win the five minute and then the three minute would be close. And then the one minute Magnus is the clear favorite and that Naka would come on top by one point. Would you say Hikari was a better chess player than Tanya? Is that a serious question? What? GM Canty subscribed. Well, that's a that's a good point, Mantis George. So Aviv, who doesn't he's not like an internet person. He's you know he's older than me. He said this is something they have to fix, this this you know mistake in the rules that lets people sit for a minute. And then you could argue, probably unsuccessfully, that that strategy that you use, which all the players do when they're playing, especially Naka, but other players do also. And you could argue that's part of the match. Now, more importantly, you should discuss whether that should be part of the match. Do you want that to be part of the match, where the clock's running out and somebody sits for two minutes? And most people, the answer is no. But 
since that's the rules, I think it's perfectly reasonable to play within the rules. That's fine. Now, you could argue the rules should change, but I don't know how you would change them. I don't know what you would do. I don't know. I guess the only way to change it so that people don't sit for two minutes is you could have it where it's a certain number of points. So you play five minute until somebody has seven points. Then you play three minute until somebody has 10 points, you know, whatever. Those are arbitrary. You could make up your own rules based on previous matches. You could see what a standard is. It seems weird that we're playing a three minute game and after 30 seconds, I just sit there. On the other hand, this is something that happens on chess.com because of arenas. So in an arena tournament, when there's less than whatever, one, two, three, four minutes left, and you're on your last game, you can sit there and the, the game ends and you don't lose or win. So that's already part of chess.com arenas is there's a time factor. The tournaments get end at a specific time and all the games that are still going don't count, which is also weird, but all right, that's, you know, I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. Don't play in arenas. I don't know. It seems like it's okay. So what he did was fine. The question is, should they have a different setup so nobody does that anymore so that it doesn't help? Probably, but I don't know how. I don't know what you would do. I mean, this, this, happens, this happens in football when they kneel down. My dad always hated that about football. It's one of the reasons my dad didn't like football. The last two minutes of the game, guys kneel down. He's like, what, what is this? It's similar. And taking a knee was the end of a Family Guy episode when, when Lois was mad at Peter. Peter took a knee. And she said, you're going to take a knee till the end of the episode? You can't do that. And he just sat there with his knee down and the episode ended. So she couldn't be mad at him anymore because the episode's over. He took a knee. So, um, Let me thank who I'm supposed to thank because I've been waxing idiotic. Mark L or 12357, thanks for gifting a sub. And then a long time ago, like 10 minutes ago, GM Canty, thank you. Then 10 minutes ago, somebody did something before the stream started. Before, you know, when it was, when it was my music and stuff. I have to go look here because I can't find it. Um, Steve Condi subscribed. Thank you. That was 10 minutes ago. But I was busy. I mean, they the, chess.com could do something about it where somebody's not sitting there for a minute or two you know, at various points in the match. Um, or they could not do it, and it's part of the match strategy, and it's some, like some additional thing. So if you like that, then that's good. If you don't like that, then, you know, then you don't like it. You know, then you don't like it. I, I don't care one way or the other. When, when it's allowed, I think you should take advantage of it because it's allowed. If it's not allowed because they changed the format, that's also fine. I don't, I don't care. But what people get mad about is it's allowed, and then when people take advantage of it, they get mad at them. Well, why is Zakaru doing that? Well, because he can. That's like saying, why are you taking a knee in a football game? Because you win. You know, what, why do you stay in bounds when you're running out of bounds? Because then the clock keeps running. I mean, it's, it's a strategy in sports. You know, Sorry. Yeah, football and chess were both. What, what's funny is when, 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 and this is one of the things I don't like about college football, is when I watch a sporting event, I want it to be interesting. I don't want it to be the goddamn smackdown of all time. Okay, I don't want it, right? So, for example, you know, at the beginning of the match, it looked like, you know, Magnus's coach was Dina from boxing. It looked like Dino was giving him boxing lessons the way he was playing chess. God damn. I mean, you, you don't want to see somebody like, you know, wins 23 to 2. Maybe you do, but I don't. I want to see where I don't know who's going to win. And then somebody wins and it's exciting. And that's why I don't like college football, especially some teams 
like, you know, Alabama is a good example. They have a soft schedule and they win by 50. I mean, like, that's not why, why are you watching that? This happens in college basketball also. They have, you play somebody that can't play and you win by 50. Okay, now that might be fine. You're rooting for Alabama and they win by 50, so you're happy. Okay, but so, what, so the World Cup was not a good game and then it was the greatest game ever. And then this match was not close and then it got really close. But you like nobody suspected when France was down 2-0 and playing like morons that they would all of a sudden play great. So that was surprising. This match, you sort of suspected Magnus will wake up at some point. Magnus can't sleep for three hours. Ma Magnus has been Magnus his whole life. He can't play bad for three hours. He's got to, you know, play like a world champion at some point. So him catching up was not that surprising. It was mildly surprising. Then when he caught up, it looked like he would seize the initiative, but he didn't. Yeah, college football, when it's like 62 to zero, I'm like, all right. Georgia does this. Alabama does this. I mean, this is, you know. You, it's not because they're way better than everybody, which they are. It's because they're, you know, they, you know, cupcake schedule, which they are, but that's a separate issue. Technically, that should help the teams that don't have the cupcake schedule, but it doesn't. Georgia and Alabama win all the bowl games anyway. So. C'est pas différence. <laughs> yeah, the, all the matches were great today. Agreed. I was at the Vikings game. Oh, the one where they were down 33-0 and they won? Yeah, very suspicious. I mean, but good. Okay, let's. I, I have to play chess because that's such a chess stream. Let's see, what do I do? I'm black, so I wait for him to move. So today's five minute, and yesterday was three minute. So if you're challenging me three minute, that's wrong. You have to challenge me five minute. Five minute unrated. And don't forget it. The, the, the Naka match reminded me of a funny story. In 1988, there was something you've never heard of called the World Chess Festival. And it was in St. John, New Brunswick, which you also haven't heard of. And all the best players in the world were there. And they had international open tournaments. And they had candidates matches. And they had the World Blitz Championship. And this was in 1988. And the World Blitz Championship... You could qualify for it or get in by rating. I tried to qualify, but was unsuccessful. And it was a 64-player knockout. And um, the first round of the knockout were some funny matches like Karpov, Shirazi. Okay. But one match was Igor Ivanov, Yasser Sarawan. And... And... Um, Eventually, Ivanov won, which was an upset. And when the match ended, uh, Jinja Hashvili said, said, no, there's, there's no way that Ivanov could win. Even after the match, it's, it's even less likely that he'll win. So even when the match was over, Ivanov, Jinji was picking the Yasser, even after Yasser lost. That's how big of a favorite he was. He said, I still pick Yasser, even when the match ended. So that's sort of what I was thinking about when, when Magnus lost the match. I, st I still pick him, even though it's over and he lost. Let's see, takes. I can tell these stories because it's five minutes. If it was three minutes, I would have lost on time by now. Hey, that's my pawn. Let's see, I can play this and hope he doesn't see his bishops here. Uh, let's see, bishop h5, I guess. He might not see his queen's attack, or he might mouse slip. So many mouse slips lose. It's got like 10 queen moves that lose. Well, that's not one of them. Let's see, bishop f3? God damn. I never realized how good I was. Yep, 
Yay, 100 bits. That's right, Chess Lad. Good Futurama reference. You know, cold. Stop challenging me three minute. It's five minute unrated. Rawr. I'm out of Perrier, so I made coffee. And now I'm out of coffee. I mean, here, I can make coffee. Make coffee twice a day already. E4? What kind of tactic is that? What kind of sorcery is this? Should I play Rook G6 Karen style? I mean, Rook G6, I don't think is the best move. But since you guys donate, I, I guess Rook G6. You guys have rights. I mean, the crowd has rights. Bishop F3, Rook G6. You guys didn't donate for nothing. Well, maybe you did. It's Karen's favorite tactic. Why am I cold if I'm drinking hot coffee? Also, why am I cold? I'm never cold. Karen texted me about an hour ago. She's playing cash game today. She only played for a couple hours. She had she has friends in Vegas. Her best friend lives in Vegas. Like she's known since she was, you know, 20 or something. Uh, rookie four, queen e4, queen h5. I guess queen h5. And um, so Karen's been playing like two hours and she said she was up 250. You know, playing cash games. So that's good. I want to have a winning session because so far nothing, nothing's been winning. That's, that's less fun. Let's see. Rook takes e4, queen b8 mate. Damn. Truth hurts. Uh, so rook f6. And then if queen h4, I take it, then mate. If he's not stream sniping, that should definitely happen. Man, rook f6 is a good move. How am I playing good moves? I guess the engine is going to tell me they suck. <coughs> g4. So I can play rook takes queen, rook g4 mate, or I can play... Oh, queen here, queen g3. I guess I'll play the move that wins the queen and mates. I guess that's better. I didn't want to play that. One mistake, one blunder. Let's do a game review. I think I played 90 that game. Exactly 90. That's my guess. I've got to guess something. Stop going so slow. Go fast. <clears throat> Oh, I played 97.5, and I made no mistakes and no blunders, according to the game review. I made two brilliant moves. He played 80.9. 97.5 is good for me. Bishop F3, double X clam. Rick G6, double X clam. 97.6 when they did the retry. All right. That was exciting. How are you 2710 in Blitz? Did you steal a page from Hans Niemann's book? Um, so let me try to explain. First of all, let me get rid of these non five minute unrated challenges. What a lot of people do, and they don't know they're doing it, is they cross compare ratings. So there's ratings on chess.com, there's ratings on Lee Chess. There's USCF ratings, US Chess Federation, there's FIDE ratings, and there's many other rating systems like you know, Yahoo Chess, if that still existed. Okay, and you, you, can't, you can't compare, the, you can't do that. So like my chess.com rating is several hundred points lower than the best players on the server, just like in real life. So the best players on chess.com they're rated between 3,000 and 3,300. So that's why I'm 2,700 because the ratings are way, way higher on chess.com than like a FIDE rating. 
So that, that should explain that. It doesn't explain it, but it should. All right, next, yours, so next. Also, I'm great, 2710. So Daniel Dernitsky, no, no, Daniel Dernitsky is the best player in the world, still. Hey, this looks like my last game. Always repeat. I wasn't paying attention. What did I do? Did I play here? <laughs> you played knight c3 at some point. This guy's pretty good for 600. Yeah. He's at least 700 strength. Cold. What am I carrying? Maybe he won't take back because he's 600. Damn. This guy's tough. God, the dogs bark so much about nothing. Much ado about nothing. I mean, barking just makes them thirsty. Uh, let's see, how do I defend that? Uh, I guess I won't. I guess I'll undefend by night. Sometimes they see something out the window. Sometimes they hear something. I don't know, they're just barking. Yay, thanks, McNubbits and Enzi and Hero. What kind of dogs do we have? Big and loud. Like me. They're both mixed breeds. Itchy and cold. Fifteen ten. God damn. Half of you guys are still challenging me at the wrong time control. I just thought everything won here, but now I think everything wins for him. Huh. I thought like that would win, that would win, but all, I, all my moves lose. Dang. I was just completely lost. Uh, how do I escape this? Jesus Christ. That wasn't good judgment on my part. It was pretty good.
Still theory. Whoa. There we go. I get high with a little help from my opponent. Get by with a little help from my opponent. From my opponent. Da, 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 da. Would you believe I didn't lose this game? I'm certain that I would every move. What do I see when I blunder my night? I can't tell you, but I should have resigned. Oh, I get by with a little help from my opponent, etc. And you guys thought I was going to lose. Also, I did. Mm -hmm -hmm. Go hype train, you're close. Oh yeah, no. Not only does Naka have zero chance of winning, but Fide has just um, uh, announced that Gotham Chess is now a GM due to Naka winning. Yay, thanks, JM True 63. Go hype train. Admit it, when he was mating me, you didn't think I'd be up five queens. I, I wanted you to admit it. See, do I have mate in one? I have to defend this square and this square. Hmm, that seems hard to do with these three squares. Queen G2's mate. I don't have any mate in ones. Really? Queen G4. What? I have no mate in ones with five queens? God damn. Man, chess is tough. All right. Now, now I have a lot of mate in ones. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll play this one. A perfect game. <laughs> Three mistakes, zero blunders, what else? That'll teach him to get a winning position. Yes, that was a fine game. Hi, Chess TV people. I was losing this game earlier if you just showed up. Okay. Very suspicious game. Three minute unrated. That's five minute today. That way I have time to talk to the audience. What are streams like during the week? I don't know. They're sort of like Saturday and Sunday, but less people sub. Is this uh, Italy or Ireland or both? Ireland. I thought it might be both. We'll start with I. friend requests. I have to honor my obligations here. Karen's going to be on the rail unless she changes her mind and just plays poker of the women's tournament, which uh, they're showing live. So that means maybe we can see Karen on the rail. So let's see if I can find that. 
Turn the sound on my phone off. You go to WPT and they're showing the women's event live. Day five, day, where's the women's? Day three, ugh, WPT poker women. Ladies event final table, here it is. All right, we'll see if I can see the rail and see Karen. Uh, let's see, this guy's pretty good for 1300. I can see the rail. Let's see, that's not Karen, that's not Karen, that's not Karen, that's not Karen. It's a little blurry, maybe it is Karen. People sitting there are all men. Wait, who's that? Well, that could be Karen. That could definitely be Karen. Eh, no, that's not Karen. She doesn't walk with her arms folded like that. Let's see, whose turn is it? Mine? Oh, there's some women. They're all sitting together. That's not Karen. That's not Karen. That's not Karen. That's not Karen. Those are men. And that woman's not Karen. It's hard to tell because I have to make it really... You know, I small and I make it big, it's blurry. Uh, let's see, take this. I guess so. Uh, thanks, JT Foxy, for gifting a sub. Anyway, at some point, if you watch the women's final table, you should see Karen on the rail somewhere. I hope. Let's see, I take this. Now, do I take this or this? I was going to take on E4, but I guess this is better. Stop showing the players. I want to see the rail. Care about the players? Also, the women's is supposed to be is supposed to be six players, and this is more than six. And these aren't the right women. Oh, this is the World Series of Poker. I'm watching the wrong thing. That's why I didn't see her. Ladies game. WPT, no, that's not it. I was watching the wrong thing. That's why I, I wasn't seeing Karen. Huh. Uh, whose turn is it? Mine? I'll take that. Ladies event final table, World Series of Poker. World Poker Tour 2014. What? I don't see the women's for WPT, World Poker Tour. Uh, let's see, just this, take that. Hmm. It could be on, on YouTube, they're showing the, the, the championship, and on maybe on, on uh, Twitch they're showing the women's. That would make sense, actually, what I just said. It's not true, but it makes sense. Whose turn is it? Not mine. World Poker Tour. No, they're showing the, the, the men's thing. Huh. I can't, I can't find the women's. Strange. They said they're going to show the final table live. Always sack the exchange. If anybody can find it, let me know. It's live streamed on the World Poker Tour YouTube and Twitch channels. I looked there... And I saw the championship and not the women's event. And you can find the women's event? I tried to find it and failed miserably. That's what I did. I can see the championship. I can't see the women's championship. They're supposed to do both. But maybe they're going to do the women's later. 
The women started after the championship did. I know that. Oh, that's a good move. I didn't see that. I mean, half my opponents can't challenge me five minute unrated. It's too difficult. What do you do, King H1? Yeah, that's a good move. Never play F3. Five minute not unrated. No, that's not right. He was doing well until he wasn't. I don't see any way to crash through. Guess I'll take a pawn. Yay, love subscribed. Hooray! It says five zero U. That's five plus zero. Yeah. It doesn't say fifty U. Anyway, you're banned. Uh, let's see. Make a knight. Yeah, why not? That looks like fun. I have twenty seconds. No, I might lose on time. Terrible. see here bishop d3 is the engine move i only have one meat and one the thing was my move two mistakes zero blunders what else yeah, i gotta tell karen see what she has to say Next, yours, so next. Go, Karen. Are you a big music fan? I am big. You've made some pretty obscure 80s music references in the past. I try to make obscure references. Guys, fast. It's 
still theory. Yay, I've moved all my pawns. Do I win now? A perfect game. <clears throat> Zero mistakes, one blunder. That's pretty good. <clears throat> I thought I made several mistakes and blunders, which on a game review we will find. Go game review. I played 91.9 .9 and he played 89.2. I made 10 inaccuracies. Damn, harsh. It's <laughs> a lot of inaccuracies. And so forth. Still, I played in the 90s. All right, let's get rid of the incorrect challenges. Oh, only one. You guys are getting better. Magnificus. I played him yesterday. Stop challenging me the wrong time control.
Maybe he won't take it back. Dang. Karen didn't answer. Uh, let's see. A virtual high five. No cash value. Man, harsh. Should be some cash value. Did the Bengals make a comeback? I won't believe it if... If they didn't. Hey Siri, how did the Cincinnati Bengals do? The Bengals are ahead of the Wow. Bengals, 33 to they were down 17 3 at half, and now they're up 33 <laughs> 17. That'll show Tom Brady or something. Wow, they're out, they outscored Tampa 30 to 0 in the second half. What are they, Minnesota? God damn. Yeah, I'd have been shocked if Tampa won, but they were up 17-3 at half. So I was like, all right. Then they failed miserably. It's the third ranked defense recommended by German settlers. Man, this is pretty boring. Somebody threw a pie or something. Pretty good maneuver there, here and here. That's a good move. <clears throat> God damn. Every move is a genius move. I got plenty of nothing. Although it is plenty for me. I just take and play here. Pin my own knight. All right. It might lose immediately, but I'm still going to play it. Queen B1. Man, his pieces are moving all over the place. It's like it's a chess game. I've never been so thoroughly outplayed strategically by anybody, ever. Man, Komsky would dream of beating me so easily. Ah. Kowski would have reported me already. Did you see Hikaru beat Magnus? That sounds like you're making it up. No lying on my stream. <laughs> Magnus knows a foolish consistency is the hobgoblin of little minds. That's why he was inconsistent. Knight takes pawn, queen takes queen, resigns. Knight takes pawn, pawn takes knight, resigns. Damn. Everything ends with me resigning. Tough break. 
So let's defend our knight so there's no bishop h6 nonsense. Where's he coming in here? Ugh. He's coming in here. God damn. Coming to get me. Uh huh. Hey, yay, 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 Even the dogs can't believe it. Well, that game was no fun. I was losing the whole game. Until I wasn't. Zero mistakes, zero blunders. No, I played really bad. I was losing the whole game. Stupid whatever you are. All right, we're not going to analyze it because it's too embarrassing. Ooh, 400. Oh, they could beat Magnus. Although that was proven today that anybody could. So, shouldn't scare me. This looks familiar, like it happened yesterday. He'll probably take. Yes. Somebody do something, you know, a marker. You thought he wouldn't take. Terrible. Maybe chess just isn't your game. I know. Let's have a spelling contest. I was playing in a tournament like 20 years ago. My opponent was 1,400, 1,300. And he had a knight on d5, like I moved 10. And he played knight f4. There's nothing on f4. He's played knight f4. My bishop on c1 took it. It was a slow game. Like, just didn't notice my bishop could take it. That's a good dog. Not too good. God damn. Because he casts long and strong. And it's time to get the checkmate on.
Even I am's got to shout. <laughs> House of Pain? No. That's Sir Mix a lot. Terrible. You're banned. Although this position is House of Pain. Are you streaming next weekend? Oh, I don't even know what I'm doing tomorrow. Now I have to be careful I don't stalemate him. Because, you know, it's close. What is this guy? 4-4? Four, four, th oh. What country is this? God damn. Make sure I never go there. Hungary. Man, that was the game of God. Where's this damn? This guy's getting deported from Hungary playing like that. And so forth. He's from Hungary. Poor guy just trying his best. That'll teach him. It's cool that 400s get a chance to play a GM, though. Proving his rating. See, like the 600 I played... Earlier in the stream, he was beating me. So he wasn't cheating, but there's two possibilities. Somebody else was playing on his account, or he's not 600. He just has a 600 rating for some reason. Like, he's not 600, the guy that I was playing. Like, it could be his kid's account, and his kid's 600, and he's like you know, 1,900, and he's playing on his kid's account. But it wasn't like the guy plays, the guy's 600, Everything's on the up and up, and then he played me. That's, that's not what happened. Conversely, this guy is 400. This guy's playing on his own account, 400. You know, and the, he's in Hungary, so it's 1.30 in the morning. Probably, you know, had too much beer, you know, so forth. And so on. And so on. See, that's what a 400 plays like. The 600 didn't play like he's 600. He played like he's, you know, 17, 1800. It was probably like some 2000 playing on the count. Now he's insulted. What? I'm not 17 here. I'm 2000. Let's see. What do I play here? I made that move up. Go me. Hikaru just beaded Magnus with a 1,000 of draw. Um, what? <laughs> what does that mean? I understand that Hikaru won the match. What's a 1,000 of draw? That does surprise me. What's that? I want to beat somebody with a 1,000 of draw. That sounds cool. He had a thousand of draw. Yeah. I like that. If I ever have 250 of draw, if I ever had a thousand of draw, I could beat Magnus too. That's true. I drew a thousand ones. Yeah. No, but usually when people type something that's incorrect, I know what they mean. In this instance, I do not. What, what does he mean? <clears throat> like, what did he mean to write that would make sense? He had a thousand of draw. What, what? How can that make sense? He was able to draw his gun in one thousandth of a second. 
I don't what 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 there were a lot of draws there were a lot of draws I agree yeah not sure if that's what he meant but maybe he drew his 1000 best games wait a minute Uh, am I a professional? Uh, uh, I mean, I'm a professional in the way like Jean Reno is the professional. So I, I act as a professional. So yeah, well, there you go. Yeah. And Karen is, uh, what's her name? Who's the little girl in the professional? I forgot who it is. See, is Queen takes Bishop May? No. What's what's her name? The actress's name. Come on, why, why aren't there like 20 answers here? Natalie Portman, yeah. Kevin Richardson, 93 subscribe. Thank you for the support. Yeah, I'm Jean Reno and Karen's Natalie Portman. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the ticket. Oh, I didn't tell you guys something unless I did. I'm starting to think I did. But you guys don't remember, so it's the same thing. A week ago-ish, <clears throat> might have been more than a week ago, we went to the casino in North Carolina, and we're walking in the casino, and the guy carded Karen. And Karen used to get carded when you were forced to wear masks, and now you don't wear a mask, so they don't card her anymore. But they carded her, and we were like, what? He was, like, slightly embarrassed. He, was like, he like, couldn't believe that she was as old as her ID said that it was. I was thinking she's older than me and my son's 31. So I don't know. Probably she's 21. And she had just had her birthday. Might have, in fact, it might have been her birthday. But no, no, she had just had her birthday like a week ago. So she's 57. This position looks pretty good for me. See, now this, this guy's not cheating. No, I don't get carded because I have like a white beard. They think I'm Santa Claus. He was confused when the ID said she was 57. He's like, what? Then he like did stuff to see if the ID was fake. I mean, it was fake, but that's not the point. What's happening? See, this now this this is a 700 player. The guy that I was playing, he, he won 600. Like, now this guy, this guy's he knows he, he's earning his rating. Right? He's down every piece. He's down all the pieces. If he doesn't resign, I can we set up the board and made them like, you know, I like to do. Hopefully he doesn't resign because I can still do that. I think I'll do it on the side of the board. That might be hard for me, actually, because on the side of the board, I'll be confused. I guess I'm not too bright. Thanks, uh, C. Benson 6. Maybe I'll stick to what I know. Maybe I won't do the side of the board. Uh, let's see. What, what do I have? I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. To figure out what I can give up here.
Why does it take so long to move? What's happening? Play here. Damn it. <clears throat> I've never done that. Marker. I guess send a picture to my friend because he told me to do that. Did you guys make a marker? Do as I say. Now, now my friend is like, shouldn't you switch the king and queen? And I said, no, this is better because it looks like he mated me. <laughs> NFT worthy, right? What do you guys think? Should my king and queen be the other way? I like this way because it looks like that I got mated. Like the queen's on the collar of her, you know, you know what I mean? That way is correct. No, this way is right. Exactly. If the king and queen are the other way, position would be illegal. Well, the, the white king would be here. <laughs> yeah, my friend, somebody, I don't know if it was him, suggests I do on the side of the board too. I don't think I could do that. I would be too confused. Hey, we have 960 subs. We only need 40 subs. Can someone donate 40 subs? Thank you. Thank you in advance. What, what's your name, Coffee? I'll play you now. There you are. Yeah, somebody like explain to Coffee how the internet works. Set up the board diagonal. I was going with your pieces have conquered their counterpart square's angle. Thanks, Blunder Goat. 39 to go. Okay, what's going on? Oh. Thanks, Lob One Newman 2. Low, bo, low, lob one, lob, low bow, Newman two. Thanks with all those names. Newman.
Oh no, my D-pawn. I heard the US won the World Cup today. It is true. Is there any way if we can see we're in Ben's queue? The queue's in the chat, is next to the chat. You can see the queue. God damn. Oh no, my D-pawn. What, this is theory. Everybody plays this against me. How can this be theory? How's it, how's it possible? It's two, it's two. God damn, they bark for no reason. And no raisin either. Nate Shadow, that's incorrect. As per usual. Is stream over yet? Madeline Kahn, Frau Blucher. <laughs> two bishops versus two knights. What else? Is there any anti-theory book with only mistakes? Yes, any Eric Schiller book. Let's see, sack my queen for no reason? That's just my game. <laughs> Take your time. There's a two bishops, who needs a queen? Two a bishops. <laughs> what book again? Any Eric Schiller book. Is just filled with, with you know with typos and terrible stuff. The best Eric Schiller book, as far as being terrible, is the book on the Frankenstein Dracula variation. That's the best. If you want a book that's just really bad, it's the Plan Nine from Outer Space of of chess books. <laughs> He's got three connected past pawns. He has an extra queen. Stacks paper to the ceiling, rides on 24 inch chrome. What doesn't he have? Yeah. Uh, let's see, Bishop D2. Stop barking! Stop! Bark tomorrow! Jesus Christ. Eh? All right, what's going on here? I could sack the exchange. All right. <laughs> I got to follow my rules. <laughs> I don't have any pieces left, but, you know, after queen takes bishop, it's equal. <laughs> eh, always sack your queen, always sack the exchange. <laughs> Down three pawns for nothing. <laughs> eh, it's five minutes, not three minutes. This guy's like, I'm going to beat a GM. I'm the best. He's got about the same chance as a win as Akaru does today. Pfft. That would be like winning an NFL game when you're down 33 and a half. Etc. You scared my cat when you yelled at the dogs. <laughs> Let's see. Queen E6. Let's see. I'll go here. Then I'm threatening a pawn. If it was my move, I'd still be losing. But I have the two bishops. <laughs> Who needs a queen or pawns? If I win this game, do you feel bad for him? Or should I say when I win this game? I'm not supremely confident. I'm a Saints fan. Don't play f5, don't play f5, don't play f5. Didn't play it yet. I'm still not winning if he just gives his queen away. It's <laughs> still a draw. Probably I'm worse. Yeah, I think I'm worse there. Mm-hmm. 
what's happening? I'm afraid to play here because he might take it. Oh, snap! Funny reason. Two bishops, what else? I don't think I'm going to put this one on the game review to see how I played. Uh, let's see. Ooh, weakening the white squares. I win a perfect game. One mistake, two blunders. What else? All right, quick before somebody analyzes it. I got disconnected. Man, the truth hurts. Yeah, can't believe GMs don't have special privileges. What causes it, loves User error. I didn't realize how strong my piece sack was. I mean, I was kidding. Sometimes you got a kid. A kid, a kid. Oh, uh, uh. <clears throat> Break on through, break on through. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have a threat. Three thousand viewers. What else? Did I get a raid? I didn't have three thousand viewers like ten minutes ago. So <clears throat> Karen and I have a meeting with the chess.com team <coughs> about getting me back in the rotation for doing stuff for them, like making videos and doing live commentary. So probably January, February, you'll start seeing me do stuff for chess.com. Go chess.com. Damn. I didn't see Rook F6. Well, then I'm just losing. And then some. I'm more losing this game than last game. I'm sure that's possible. But he has trouble finding the only legal move. So I have some, you know, I might not lose. I'm only down two pieces. And I have connect four. That's good compensation for two pieces. Four pawns for two pieces. It's like, you know, seven brides for seven brothers. I'm not sure how it's like it, but they have numbers in them. 
Oh, that's a good move. Should take with a knight. So if I take everything, king f1, rook d2, rook e2, god damn. <clears throat> but I have to do it because I, I like being down one piece instead of two. close you guys can see why i'm a gm because of my accurate play even better than magnus i do better than magnus i win more games yeah make sure if you're challenging me you're a sub it's sub sunday and somebody in the chat will give you a sub i can donate some subs Let's see. I did five yesterday. I guess I'll do five again. Everybody give five subs. Let's see if that works out for me or if I keep giving five subs away. Yay, Craft Single Square. Yay, thanks ben GM Benjamin Feingold for gifting five subs. You're the best. What's well, my move? What do you do, King G7? Yeah, where was his king? I don't even know where his king was. F8. All right. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll go here. I'm a sub, but don't appear in the queue. I can't even tell if they're kidding. Hypogenetic Toast is gifting a sub. Dimebag can match that. Dimebag, whatever you text me, I'm going to respond with one word. Oh, snap. How am I going to get out of this one? That is the question, whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of an outrageous position or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing end them to die, to sleep no more, and by asleep to say we in the heartache and pigs on the seventh that flesh is heir to, to die, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to dream, I, there's the rub, for in that sleep of death what stalemate may come. And that is the Hamlet Gambit. Thanks, Dimebag, for five subs. Stop barking! And if you're a cat, stop meowing! Let's see. Pawn takes, Rook H2. That looks like I'm getting perped. So I guess we're going here. All right, equal material. I've won two pieces back. Now I'm just slightly worse. Go, Dimebag. Dimebag with all the subs. Hypogenetic Toast with subs. GM Benjamin Feingold. Thanks, Craft Single Square, for the 100 bits. You guys are all the best, especially that Benjamin Feingold guy. Stop barking, dogs. Pretty good for a thousand. I mean, not you know, he's not like three thousand rated, but you know, pretty pretty good. Let's see. He'll think I hung mate in one, so I'll get really excited. Then he'll be like, "Oh, ooh, he took." Okay, that move I can beat. I couldn't beat many moves, but that one I could. Let's do a bishop and knight mate, I guess. Can I give him more time? Uh, I can't give him more time. Darn. Okay, we'll try to mate him before his time runs out. What? He resigned? What? Four mistakes, zero blunders. What else? A perfect game. All right, let's get these jokers out of here. They challenge me and don't know how to keep their challenge up. This is Australia because of the thing, right? 
Yeah, if there's no thing there, then it's New Zealand. I'm learning. Thank you for the game. Tough game. Chess for coffee gave five subs. Hooray. I had coffee too. So that's good timing. Whoops. I meant to play knight f8. I didn't mean to play bishop f8. Oh well. <laughs> I clicked on the wrong piece. I want kofefe. Do you have to be subbed already to get gifted a sub? No, in fact, it's the opposite. You have to not be subbed to get gifted a sub. I lived in Belgium for four years, and I still think it's Romania. So I don't know. Maybe I'll never know the difference. I played bishop here, bishop here, bishop here. I'm the best. It's not at chess. But best at something. Cannon to the right of them, cannon to the left of them, shattered and sundered, stormed at with knights and pawns, he who had sacrificed so well. It's a five minute game against a 2200 and I'm just like, here's all my pieces. <laughs> I can't help it, I've been doing it every game. I, I can't start playing good moves. I refuse to play good moves. This makes the game more interesting. My moves are absurd. Standard average gifted a sub. Where did you live? I hope Ghent. I lived in Brussels. I lived at Chaussée de Charlois 53, 1060, in Ixelles. I'm not sure if we were in Ixelles. I think so. My son was born in the hospital in Ixelles, which is in Brussels, about two miles from our place. We were near the Avenue de la Toison d'Or. <laughs> No, 1060, not 1600, 1060. And also, my phone number was 538 27 50. You know, 5382750. Man, truth hurts. He was doing well until he wasn't. Jesus. Well, as we say in the South, resign, resign, resign. Or is that Gomer Pyle? I don't know. Good game, sir. Stop challenging me five minutes, five minute unrated. You think I play like this if it's rated? How well can you speak French? Badly. Never went to ASEAN Belgique. I don't think so. I lived in Belgium 35 years ago. So, you know, I don't know. God damn. That was the beating of a lifetime. Zero mistakes, one blunder, at least. All right, then Sven, he keeps getting kicked off, and then we'll play people in order. Sven does pretty well against me. He's winning a lot, drawing a lot. Usually he loses, but occasionally he doesn't. Let's see. Let's play the French. I'll pretend I'm a kid again. They speak French in Belgium? Some people do. It's one of the common languages, yes. Uh, let's see, can I do this or does it work? I don't think it works. Might do it anyway. Let's see. 
Uh, a castle. Uh, that's no good. Uh, what do I do? Bishop b4? I guess that's the third option. Still theory. Does the Danish gambit make sense? Sure. Uh, this should be six or castles. I don't know. I don't really like either one. I guess this is more solid. Yeah, there's a small part that's German. One of the Germans town is Hui, H-U-Y. The, the German part used to actually be Germany. Then there was World War II and a lot of things were said and happened. I don't know. Bishop takes b3, bishop g7, rook g8. I don't see any compensation for me. Hmm, he's two bishops too. Well, I guess I go here then. Like Huey Lewis and the news, correct. My internet is really bad. Yeah. Now, what's funny is, thanks, Shock Panda, for the raid. Somebody give him a shout out. What's funny is, Hui, the, the, the word Hui, not H U Y, the, the Belgian town, the word Hui um, is in, in Russian is like, you know, your, is, your, is your dick. And so in English, when people say who knows, it sounds like dick knows if you speak Russian. If you see what I'm saying. No? All right. True story. You can't make that up. By being a grandmaster, I know these stories of Russian and English and stuff. So Russian people laugh when you say who knows because it sounds like, you know, dick knows. Bishop takes c4, queen takes e7, resigns. That's good analysis. Right, it's 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 it sounds like when you say who knows, it sounds like who he knows. It's slightly it's it's different, but it's close enough where it sounds funny. See, I have a joke which I made, and the Germans don't get it. It's in German. Where do you put ten crazy Germans? In the insane asylum, insane, insane, because there's 10 crazy Germans. And they're like, no, no, insane, insane, those different sounds. I can't believe Germans don't have a sense of humor. I mean, I made the joke up, so, so laugh next time. Well, it's not, a, it's not attacked, but Queen C3 check wins immediately, but he won't see that. Yes, he'll play Bishop G2 and this wins. I'm the best. Even though he's stream sniping, he's, it doesn't matter. What? How could he? Why would they? This looks pretty dangerous, castling queenside. That's dangerous even for me. God damn. I'm going to not even do it. Hmm. Castling kingside so safe. Ugh, oh, I can't really get away with it. Damn. I wanted to, too, but, you know, he's over 2000 so give him some credit. You know, like, I don't know, $50 in credit. Eh, who knows? Oh, snap! They have a dry sense of humor, not zwei! So there's a joke in English, which is funnier in French. So I tell these French kids at a chess tournament, they all laugh because they didn't know the joke. In English, we have a joke. Is it two and two? I've already messed the joke up. Two and three is six or two and three are six. And the person says two and three is six. And you say, no, two and three is five. That's the joke in English. In French, it's funnier. Say, so, de toi et six, de toi cent six. No, deux trois font six. They say no, deux trois font cinq. 
So that's funnier. Because they make stuff in French. They don't is and they don't are. They make. It's like they make the weather. How do you make the weather? C'est pas possible. Oh, I wonder if that's Karen because nobody else in the world texts me. Oh, it's my daughter. I sent her that mate with everything on the back rank. Knight d2. Let's see. Uh, we'll attack the knight. Maybe he won't see it. Welcome and bienvenue. Welcome. My last day of school is tomorrow. Yay. Go Irem. My daughter on Tuesday, Wednesday? On Wednesday turns 21. God damn. She has a coding and physics exam. So G6 resigns? Is that how this game is going to end? I guess so. All right. Good game, sir. What? Muba? Oh, chess bra rated? I didn't even notice. Did they? Oh, chess bra subscribed. What? Go chess bra. Did you raid too? Or just subscribe? <laughs> Man, so look at this. Not resigning. Just sub. How's it going, guys? Is it Amon or Eric or other? That'll determine what jokes I tell. Please say it's Eric because I have a really good joke for that. D don't be a mom. Be Eric. It's funnier. Eric, good. I didn't think it was Amon because Amon's in prison right now for what he did to Trent. Oh, snap. Got gotcha, you, Trent. Trent was so confused. The, what happens is when, you're, when they give you a standing eight count, they ask you a question like, you know, who's the president? So they said, what's your name? And he said his name backwards. He said Trent Lawrence. Because, you know, they're both first names. He wasn't sure. And then they asked him again, because they're not going to count you out unless they're sure. And they said, can you say your name again? And he said Jennifer Lawrence. God damn. What's funny is um, he made a lot of money betting on football, Lawrence Trent, because he could see into the future because Amon knocked him into the future. God damn. That was the beating of a lifetime. I hated to see it. Except for one thing. Speaking of a beating of a lifetime, look at this position. He can't do Vishwa nothing. Gotta watch out for stalemate. Ever play F6. But it was mate next move. No. Queen here was mate, irrespective and regardless of which way he went. No. Boo. Etc. Will Magnus accuse Akaru of cheating? Probably. Have you ever liked coding? What? Sven's got a fortress. What? My daughter's texting me again. All in goes red. What? Oh, Karen's watching the final table. And when somebody's all in, in the studio, they make it red. 
like it's on they're they're broadcasting it and people are in the audience and the whole room turns red when somebody goes all in. That's pretty cool. Well, there's a lot of people watching. Let me see if it's on uh, if they're showing it anywhere now. Let's see. What do I do? How do I get to YouTube? Oh, that's how. Day five, day four, ladies event, final table, World Series of Poker. Stop tricking me. I guess it's not being shown. Maybe it'll be on TV later. Maybe they're recording it and they're going to edit it. Oh, now it's blue, because I guess nobody's all in. That's pretty cool. Okay, uh, back to beating you guys to death. Unrated, unrated. Saint. I play this guy every game. God damn. He's good at challenging me. You other guys are like, I challenged you and it went away. This guy challenges me every third game is him. Thanks, Chess, for coffee. Yeah, yeah, Magnus got outplayed in the 5-1. Yeah, I was talking about that earlier before you were here. He's officially the best chess player in the world, officially. It's very official. No, my knight! I didn't see he could take it. Ah, oh, oh, man. I even knew I was going to blunder it before. Ah, et cetera. That was good complaining. Oh my God, he's going to take my knight and the knight here forks my bishop and rook. Ah, oh, I walked into this fork. Ah. Oh. I've had this position like a dozen times. I've had this position. It was one of my best tournament wins. Let's see. I don't have to take this, so I won't. Oh, keep my two bishops. And if he doesn't see he's in check, I'll win on time. Now he'll try to castle the rest of the game, and then I'll win on time. Yes. My plans are usually winning on time. I'll probably play knight here attacking my bishop, and I'll take it. That's the most likely. Good analysis. What? What? Okay. Mm-hmm. There weren't any juicers in, in the match? Terrible. I demand juicers. C4 is explosive. He always sacked the exchange. It's good. And he has a lot of compensation. He sacked the exchange. He knows how to have compensation. <laughs> da da. <laughs> Whoa, that GM. Hmm? And a lot of people are challenging me. 
I'm going to have to not play people a second or third time because I have like 20 people challenging me. I want people to get a chance to play. So if you've already played me, I'm going to play somebody else. Also, I forgot who I played, so I probably play again. Should be on Twitch now. Oh. Let's see. World Poker. It's for ladies. Hey, she's right. What about 50? Yay. Okay, it's on Twitch now. You can watch the ladies event, the World Poker Tour, and then maybe you can see Karen in the background. You can't see her in the background, but, you know, maybe. Yeah, they have 1.2 thousand people watching. All right, now what happened? It's my move. A3. All right. Show Karen. Good go, Karen. Good job, chess lad. <laughs> Show the rail. Right, is it my turn? It is my turn. A G3. Man, this guy's solid. Solid as a rock. Solid. I don't see the rail. That's all I care about in this tournament. Hmm. Let's see, whose turn is it? Oh, mine. How am I supposed to break on through? Break on through. Break on through. I could attack this pawn. So what? This position is the most drawn ever. I can't possibly win. I think I did see Karen. There was a Karen-looking woman on her phone in the front row to the left of the table. Oh, yeah, you can see the rail a little bit now. Ah! That might have been her. She was a Karen-looking woman. That's good. Uh, let's see. I'll check. And then if he doesn't know he's in check, I'll win on time. Don't forget to sub. It's Sub Sunday. What made me go vegan? Exclam vegan. I'm not a monster. Oh. I mean, maybe I am a monster, but you know. It's like saying, why don't why don't you murder everybody you meet? Which, you know, that's, that's a good point. Uh, let's see, am I gonna lose? Yeah, maybe. On the other hand, I might not lose. So that's good. Rook c6. All right. So king e7, king e5. That's no good. Rook takes rook. That's no good. Well, I got to play one of them. Ugh. Oh, he has a four check. All right, so I have to take. And then, I don't know. Is 
Don't hang your rook to a knight fork. <laughs> Don't lose on time. How can I watch the poker if I'm playing? Terrible. Okay, I caught up on time. That's good. Hey, yay. Hey. Yay, I didn't lose somehow. I don't know how. Whew. Let's see, how did I play? Perfect. Zero mistakes, zero blunders. Okay, maybe all blunders. Hooray! All right, now let's see if I can see Karen. Da, 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 da. My root for Karen. Go, Karen. All right, next, Stock Dog. I haven't played him yet. Ah, oh, maybe I have. That was close. It was shallow and pedantic. Oh, I'm white, so I go first. I mean, I was doing well that game until I wasn't. I kept getting outplayed. Good exchange sack. How do you guys keep getting disconnected? Are, are you guys okay? Do you guys know how the internet works? You should never be disconnected ever from chess.com, ever. Get better internet. F6, never play F6. It's an insult, I tells you. That's why I play the same people all the time, because you guys get disconnected every time you challenge me. Terrible. The guys who don't get disconnected, they get to play me. My graphics card isn't strong enough to run chess.com. I can't even tell if that's a joke. Dial up. Dial up's pretty good. I had a chess student who used dial up. Oh, my queen! <gasps> How surprised were you when Nakamura won? I'm guessing you were surprised. I still don't think he won. I think it's an imagine it's imaginary. Am I banned? Somebody says in the chat. It's Chicago Joey Poker. Go at Chicago Joey Poker. Ooh, what happened? I didn't hang my queen. Let's see, how do I sack my queen? Hmm, this should do it. That sacks my queen. Hmm. 
Look at that compensation. I still have eight pawns. That's pretty good compensation. Like if he plays knight d7 attacking my pawn, I have f7 mate. That's likely to happen. It's almost certainly going to happen. I can't even see another variation that makes any sense. Huh? Thanks, Terrible Terry787. Let's start a train. Solid. Whose turn is it? Solid. That's his turn. Solid as a rock. Huh? Thanks, Squirrel Brained. 200 bits. A hype train is close. Terry is not so terrible. That's correct, Thaddeus. King D7. God damn. Well, I don't want to not have eight pawns, so let's continue. Thanks, Bad Luck Baron, for starting the train. Yeah, but look at these advanced pawns I have. See, look at that. That's pretty good. Well, I don't want to go here. He might win this pawn. So, let's see. Knight F3 is pretty solid. No. Yeah. Thanks, High Power 8, for the one bit. Thanks, Irregular Snored, for the subscription for three months in advance. Oh, boy. We got 130 subs yesterday. Let's try to do that today. More subs, more. Look at that F file. Come on, I gave my queen up just for you guys. Thanks, Squirrel Brain, for the sub. How much money is a bit? One bit is one cent. So high power rate did good. Also, two bits of gander. Castle. No, it's not working. You know, I don't want a castle because I lose this pawn. So we'll just go here. His queen has a lot of escape squares. Uga dash booga, two bits. Yeah, I got my queen back. Don't take my pawn, I need that. Oh, good. Yeah, that could have been a disaster. Let's see, I need my bishop. I think I'm ahead material here. We'll go here. Hide my bishop so he doesn't take it. Yeah, I think this is winning for white. Cool. Want to get some breakfast? Cool. Thanks, Uga Dash Buga. Thanks, a regular snored. You don't seem like you're trying this game. What do you mean? I'm winning. I'm playing great. I'm going to go here. He's going to play king here. I'm going to sack the exchange. I'm going to go here. He wants CC6. He'll play king C6. Then I'll play C4. It's going to be great. What are you talking about? I have all eight of my pawns. He's got doubled, isolated pawns. It's terrible. He'll play king c6 question mark, which I just said instead of c6, as I indicated earlier. See, told you. Yeah, put a marker for all that. I told you he was going to do all that. You guys are like, he's going to play c6. Why aren't you listening to me? Etc. You guys all have funny voices for some reason. Let's see. e6. God damn. Still have my eight pawns. Still theory. Always play bishop f8. No, I'm losing one of my pawns. No. 
I had all eight of my pawns for so long. What did I do to deserve this? What have I? What have I? What have I done to deserve this? Pet shop boys. See that bishop's over here. He's trying to take my queen. He doesn't know why he can't. After b5, I play a4. It looks like stalemate, but he can play h4. And then do I take mate or do I take this way mate? This is prettier for some reason. I don't know. You tell me I wasn't trying. Look how hard I played that game. Perfect game. Chess for coffee, gifted a sub. Hooray! Go hype train. That was a good queen sacrifice. So I had a student rated like 2,000, and he was playing a 1,500. And this was in a slow tournament like 15 years ago. And my student played queen g6 in the middle game, and the other guy took it. Not even a pawn. Nothing. He just hung his queen to a pawn. So they keep playing, and people are like, I think your student hung his queen. I'm like, yeah, but he'll win. And they're like, yeah, even though it was a slow game. And one guy's like, he won't win because the other guy's going to mess up and offer him a draw, and he'll take it. And I said, my student's not allowed to take a draw. So he, he would never take a draw. So later, the guy hung a rook, the other guy, offered my student a draw. My student said no. And when the game ended, my student was up three queens. So in a slow game, my student hung a queen. When the game ended, he was up three queens. Now, that's a good sacrifice, except, you know, he just hung his queen. The student's game, Magnus Carlsen. All right, Bonarici, I haven't played you today. Crazy. Let's see, c4. We'll play knight f3 today, which I've never done. Then we'll play bishop f4. Tony Miles' is old line. Good old Tony Miles. I used to play this 25, 30 years ago. I used to play bishop. I played knight f3, bishop f4 against the Queen's Indian. I don't play knight f3 anymore, but I used to play it occasionally. <laughs> it's my move. I played bishop e7. I didn't notice because that move makes no sense. All right, so now we're in a QGD where he's played a strange line. Good, good. <laughs> Do I sack everything? Probably. <laughs> Four twenty. Check made him if you got him. C5. Wow. There's a movie you don't see every day. Very aggressive. Both of us. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. What happened? D4 sacking his rook because he didn't see it. Hmm. Uh, let's see, how do I win this? Let me count the ways. Uh, I could move my knight, plays knight d5, take his bishop and win. Plays knight bd7. Darn. Okay, so I have to take the rook that he missed. <laughs> And then, I don't know, I'll take back, I guess. He'll probably hang his queen, missing knight takes. That's what I would do. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. And I forgot about Dre. Oh, God. What, a, what an idiot. Darn. I forgot about Queen D2. Well, now I'm losing. Or maybe I'm not losing. Maybe I'm not. What's happening? Oh, it's Karen. She said yes. I asked her if she's going to play more poker. This game's too exciting. I'm for Kathy or Jamie. Go them. All right, let's see. Takes. Should I never play F3? Let's see. Rook A1, Queen B2, Rook D1. Queen. Yeah, I can't really get my Rook out of there. I guess it's never play F3 time. Olga looks like a model. Ooh. All right, what's going on here? Ah. Uh, I've butchered this to, to no to no avail of myself. <clears throat> Let's see, King F two or King G one. They're both good players. Well, I guess we we'll have to walk up the board and find out. Knight D five instead of Queen C two check. Uh, guess I take. Or maybe I play queen e4. Huh. Let's see. Queen takes pawn, queen c2, king g3, queen g6. How am I supposed to win that? Uh. What happened? Chip leader. Oh. Okay, can I play C? So I play C four. Oh, Rook F one makes sense. Did I lose on time yet? No. I didn't hang my queen to a knight fork. Okay. I'm still up two pawns. Amazing. All right, now what? Queen F five. Eventually, my position will look normal. Like King G1, Bishop F2, E4, Queen C5, Papa John's. <sighs> Jamie's all in. Go, Jamie. I think what Karen's watching is live because she's sitting in the audience and what we watch on the internet's like a 30 minute delay. So Karen actually knows what's going on. I can't defend this play. I can't. I can go here. Man, how'd this queen get trapped in the corner? We're playing Bonarici. So he plays rook a8 or resigns. Those are his two options. He'll probably choose rook a8. Okay, then I go here. And then finally I've escaped. And now we can just play regular chess. Okay, that's the wrong time control. C4, he wants to play knight d5. No, thank you. Take the c4 pawn because it's explosive. Read Karen's texts. Everybody folded. Yay. Is it my turn? No. Uh, knight here, f4, the knight f4 check. Darn. Uh, so I go here because I'm a grandmaster. Make sure the knight can't move anywhere. Very grandmasterly of me. What? What's happening? What world am I in? What was that all about? Okay, I've played you several times. I've played you. I haven't played Nate Shadow yet. I 
I'll pretend that was a mouse slip. I mean, I, I was stopping you from doing that. Then you did it anyway. That was good. You showed, you know, something. Papio Hamadreas. Sorry about the mispronunciation. Thanks for the sub. If I've already played you, I'm not I'm not playing you because I I I'm the stream's gonna end in like 15 minutes. So I gotta play people I haven't played yet. Some of you have played three or four times. Never play F3 except when you play it. Ooh, free pawn. Then he'll do some checks. All right, he can check me. He can check if he wants to. He can leave his checks behind. Because his friend don't check. And if they don't check, they're no poker player of mine. Ooh, that's a good move. Man, I'm not too good at chess. I guess I'll go here. Good compensation. I don't think I've lost a game today. I had that one draw. How do I not lose? Every move I'm joking. Thirty five hundred viewers. What else? That's thirty five hundred people that don't know that Botez is streaming. Terrible. Whose turn is it? Oh, it's my turn. Uh, I don't know. Queen H5, I guess? Nah, that's stupid. Oh, well, I'm stupid. Eh? Karen says it's an exciting hand coming up. Let's see, does queen have two mates? No? All right, that was my plan, was not to get mated. King D1, recommended by the engine. So it's gotta be good. Dusty went all in. 9-9. Nine, nine. Ooh, that's a good all-in hand. She can see the flop before it happens. Exactly. Queen takes knight. Oh, the bishop is defending it. Wait, so he could have played bishop g4 winning my queen? Oh, my God. I would have lost. He's 1,900. I can't just give a queen away against the 19. Okay, maybe I can, but probably not. Damn, bishop g4. I would have lost. I didn't see knight g4 or bishop g4. Okay, now I'm still in the game because I didn't hang my queen yet. Or I hung it and he didn't take it. Uh, King d2? Guess. Seems pretty safe. Damn, bishop g4 would have crushed me. How'd neither of you see that? I'm texting my wife. Olga went only with ace king. I said it wrong. What? Was it my move? No? Okay. Dusty was short stacked and called with 9 9. Classic race. Whose turn is it? I must play better than Magnus because he lost the match and I haven't even lost any games. That, that's, that's, that proves it. Unusual proof, but you know, still. Uh, let's see. E4 is bad. Everything's bad. I should feel bad. K 
king on the flop. No. Dusted. Ace king all in against nine nine. King on the flop, ace on the turn. What about the nine on the river? Uh, let's see, e4. My time situation's okay. Bishop g4. Should have played that earlier. Oh, snap! Nine on the river. So listen to this hand. Nines against ace king, all in pre flop, ace on the flop. King on the turn, nine on the river. God damn. At the final table, you know, you know, and so forth. Let's see, look here. My position looks respectable now, except for my king on D2. Everything else is okay. The crowd goes wild. It's fixed, I tell you. Fixed. <clears throat> and playing chess without looking at my phone's easier. I still don't play well, but it's easier. All right, back to my phone. A nice easy victory. Simple. Zero mistakes, zero blunders. Wait, I misread it. I'm sorry. Every move was a mistake and a blunder. Damn. Terrible. 20 more to 1,000 subs. All right, we need 20 subs. We got 980. 980. Anton Wakamura. They call him Rock. Rock. They call him Tony Rocky Horror. He's Samoan. What do you want him to do? Ugh. Man, I can't remember my lines from the movies. Yay, I haven't played an Albin Counter Gambit in a long time. I always forget about it. Everybody gift everybody a sub. You get a sub. You get a sub. You get a sub. Which Levy video should you watch? No, anything but that. I had a match against Levy once. I drove my Chevy to play Levy and Levy resigned. Yay, chest for coffee gifted a sub to the guy who asked for one. King D2, god damn. Um... Uh, let's see here. Check. He might play king b3 instead of queen d3. So let's try it. King b3, king b3, king b3. Darn. Uh.
Defending my pawn. No other idea. Dang, he's not knight b4. Which wasn't my idea at all. Dang. All my ideas for not. What happened? Do oh, I have an idea? Well, listen to this idea I have. Hear me out. Okay, don't 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 leave me. Okay, I'm gonna go here. He has to take. Hmm. Darn. None of my ideas ever work. Even the ones that do. Why can't we be friends? All right, let's see. Who wants to be friends? Well, I have four minutes left. Okay. So you want to be friends and you want to be friends. All right. So D3 check. That's stupid. Man, I really let him escape. I had a nice position. Then I played like six dumb moves in a row. But you should take it with the knight, not with the queen. We need 19 subs. 19! New friend request. Queen C1. Didn't expect that one. Oh, I could go here and then here and then here. All right, so I'll go here. Because it looks pretty. Can someone make you a sub? Bam! Delicious. That sub tasted great. It's time for the queen sack. Oh, snap! Ah, I didn't get all the way there. I tried. Yay, JM True gifted a sub. Thank you. You're a rich sub and you've gone too far because you know it don't matter anyway. You can rely on the sub's money. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, this king position isn't the best. Thanks, Zaggy1. Thanks, Chess for Coffee. Okay, I don't have him like meeting one somewhere. I don't see anything. We'll go here because it's scary looking. I don't really see a threat, but you know, it looks pretty scary. I guess I should play Rook takes Rook and Knight B3. That would have made a lot more sense than my stupid move. Oh well, truth hurts. Darn, nobody listens to me. Hikaro is better than Mangness. Mangness. I can't disagree with that or understand it. Go, Hikaro. I'm still in with the with the Joe Musk. You take Joe Rogan and Elon Musk and make them one person. Joe Musk. That's a better name. Now Elon Rogan, that's no good. 
Terrible. Joe Musk, that's the name. Joe Burrow is better than Joe Musk. Maybe. But there's one person better than all of them. Joe Mama. Pretty good for 600. Yeah. When I was 600, I just hung a piece every move. Probably doesn't know the on it. What? Six hundred dollars on Pisan? Damn. Great. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. You guys are the best. A little shorter stream today than yesterday. We will raid Botez Live. Because, you know, I like them. They have a nice stream. All right. See you guys tomorrow.